putting in a irrigation system and it's drip. You normally have to use a big filter like this one that's right here. Okay. So this is an anti-siphon valve with your miniature little backflow right here and it comes back down. You got your filter right here, your pressure regulator right here. Then it goes back out to your drip, right? If you had this in a valve box with an inline valve, it's in the valve box like this. Your inline valve is right here and you got all this connected, right? So you have to have a jumbo valve box to have this in and sometimes that's not nice to have and it's hard to fit in. That, that Hendrix Brothers has these right here and then all you have to do is come straight up. This is the pressure regulator right here. This is like a 30 PSI, goes through the valve and here's your screen right here. So now you can just come straight up, come back out and go here. You can stand, put it in a standard 12 inch box. And then all the, the consumer has to do is spin this out and take the, the filter out. Knock it on the ground, knock out the little bugs every couple months. And then they put this back on and they're back in the shape again. Where sometimes this can be a little intimidating having this big huge thing and now they got that and they got to take it all off and put it back together and they get a little confused with it you know with this on there it's not that bad but it's still sometimes you get this big valve box and they don't want to see this big green valve box you can do a standard valve box and that's the henderson product yeah these two are you can use rainbird weathermatic hunter hydro rain anybody's valve here and now you just say hey i want a filter on it and a pressure regulator so if you have like a contractor in the field and you're going, I'm going to convert that over, but we're going to rip out the whole thing. You can just put this in, take the valve you already had there, put the regulator here and this here. And now it's easy for you to do. You just use the same valve box over and pop it back in again. So very simple, compact and tight inside. Uh, everybody has a pressure regulator like this too as well. One of these, this just hooks on, it's in the bag. It hooks onto a hose in which that he has over there and he'll demo for you. So this just hooks onto the hose, you transfer it right into the hose and then you can just put a little clock on it. So that's in your bag too. Here, this is a Hendrix Brothers product. You can put this, I recommend anywhere you have high pressure, you can put this before the valve. It's the only product, Sedinger, nobody else's that you can put, the, the cornet to Danny, and I learned this from Danny at Bonnet, is you can put this before the valve and down in LA we had a customer there and the pressures are like 110, 120 and he said man our valves are just breaking. They couldn't, the consumers did not want to put in brass all the time because it's so much higher than a $15 plastic. So you can take this and put it before, it's the only pressure regulator that you can put before the valve at this price level and these are what, five, six bucks? Nine bucks. And now you have a longer life on your valve, you got the pressure down to, you know, 30, 60, 25, and the valve life lasts longer, and you're never gonna have any problems downstream with all your valves, so that's a handy thing.